so in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys a really simple way to draw flames or um, fire um, you know it's it's really it goes back to what I discussed before about using the um, the line of balance it's pretty much it and uh, that pretty much captures the whole the essential thing but you know a thing to keep in mind is if you're drawing a simple flame so for example like uh, just draw something really simple like that see and that can be all you may need um, but essentially what I'm doing is just drawing the line of balance and uh, you know pretty much it's like drawing two sides of that so you know that can work if you're drawing um, a simple flame um, and in this case, if you were coloring it, for example, you know, you could make the lines on the outside be bolder, okay? Or if you were using color, you would use um, yellow on the inside. On the outside, you'd use like a... Well, traditionally, I think it's, it's really up to you how you want to use it. You could use like a yellow-orange. And then, on the outside, you could use like an orange. Um, but of course, sometimes you can use, in, in the center, you could use white. And then it gradually gets, you know, deeper as it goes outside. So the white, yellow, orange, and like a deeper orange or a red orange, and so on. But those are the four. The, well, the, if you want to consider white, a color white, yellow, yellow, orange, and orange. Um, it could pretty much be it. So the center could be the, the deep. Um, well, the light in the center could be the lightest part or the brightest. Um, and it's the same thing, even if you were drawing like a, um, say, like a, a fireball or something. So let's say you're drawing a large flame, you know, then you could start with a, a you could have different layers. <clears throat> you could sketch this whole thing out or just wing it. But, you know, I will just, for example's sake, sketch it out. So say, for example, I have, you know, this is going to be the length of the flame. And sketching it, in a sense, ensures that I'll be able to have some form of a variation. And even that, for the basis, I can do something like this. See, I'm, here I'm using the... You know the the line of balance again. I could just to make sure that they kind of uh, you know a rhythm and variety is is there. Okay, and I could keep you know overlapping this. All right. So how would I use that? Then I could go in and make the smaller flame. You know, and you could just keep building this. So, for example, you know, this could be your yellow, this could be your orange, this could be the deeper orange, or this could be a white, this could be your yellow, and this, you know, but basically you generally have these layers of colors. You have a white, you have a yellow, you have a yellow orange, and you have orange. And sometimes you have like a, like a red orange on the outside. <clears throat> but essentially it's, it's, you know, it's basically the same. And then you can have um, the little flickers of, of flame like they're thrown off and essentially all I'm doing is just using this in I'm using the line of balance in variation and even if you don't want to have something like this you can have like a kind of a, a medium sized frame flame but what I'm doing is I'm capturing everything pretty much in a something like that or it can be a combination of these so for example it could be just one 
or it could be something like like this like overlapping but they're sharing the same base you see how I do that And that's, that's basically it. So if you don't, I'm just repeating the same thing over and over again.